was pretty phenomenal. Uh, you know, Indiana is really a, a basketball state. You know, everybody loves basketball there, all the way from high school up to up to the pros. Indiana, I still get recognized wherever I go. You know, it's just a mass basketball mindset there. So awesome going back and seeing how much him playing for Indiana meant to like the franchise and the people around. I, I would say it's our biggest sport, so it was always fun having such a recognizable father. Growing up, I played baseball, football, soccer when I was really little, but basketball was always my passion, and that was the one where I felt that I had the best best future in. He tried a lot of sports when he when he was young. We uh, we didn't really push basketball. Uh, he just kind of gravitated towards basketball in the end, and it seemed to fit him, you know, the best. You know what I did the first couple years? Uh, maybe too many tips, because <laughs> it almost seemed like he did the opposite of what I said. But uh, this year, I've left him alone. He's, he's actually been doing great. I would definitely say my dad offers me tips after games. I get a text message regardless of I play good or play bad. This is what I need to work on. I mean, he's obviously always proud of me, but regardless of how I play, I, there's always something I can improve on. He likes to be more of a finesse player. Uh, he's got a, a, probably a better shot than I do. He's most, mostly low post uh, moves. I can shoot a little bit. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I had a better shot than my dad. I pride myself in my passing ability as well as just being an unselfish player. Her job is obviously completely different than mine. I know she helps out with the team a lot. I'm so proud of her, and I know he is too. It's sweet having my sister in the basketball world, and hopefully one day I get to play for or play against her organization. So.